Good morning. I hope everyone's well and has had a good week. This is the 19th of the live workouts and we've only got two more to go until the tennis courts open back again uh, in a week on Monday. So very excited about that. But So um, we're going to do our normal workout today and then there'll be two more, one on Tuesday and one on Saturday and then that will be the last one. Okay, so we're going to start off with our warm-ups. I'm going to start off doing little circles. My toe, going one way and then back round the other way. And then the other foot, round in circles. And then back round different way. Now I'm going to take a really big lunge forward and back. And then the other leg, really big step forward. Driving it nice and low. And again, really low down. Really trying to get nice and low with it. And now we're going to go sideways, really big, and then back. And again, just going nice and low and then pushing back up. And then the other leg, nice and low. Okay, now I'm just going to stretch around one way. Back to the other. And to the first. Back there. One more time on each one. Okay, now I'm going to do little circles with my arms. Slowly getting bigger and bigger. Now really trying to get really big brush past my ear. And now backwards. Slowly getting bigger and bigger again. And then again really trying to brush past my ear. And start with this way. Getting bigger. Really big. And now backwards. Slowly getting bigger and bigger. And then really, really big. Okay, and just to get a heart rate going, I'm just going to gently jog on the spot. So today's exercises, you're going to need a ball and a racket. So we're going to do five exercises with no equipment and five with the ball and then five with the racket. Okay, so make sure you've got them ready to start. Uh, hello, Benedict. I'm glad you're enjoying another workout. And Jazz, hi, hope you're doing well, glad you're joining in today. Okay, so first one we're going to do, no equipment at all for this one. I want you to see as fast as you can, we'll do a split step, and then we're going to touch our toe. And then a split step, and we're going to touch our other toe. We're going to keep changing feet each time, going across to my arm. 30 seconds, off you go. Touch your toe. So if you are joining in the workout today, say hi. I'll try and do a little shout out if I can. It's a jump, and then touch your toe. Really, really fast. Nice and high jump. Last five seconds. And stop there. So we have 30 seconds rest now. Then we'll have the next one, 15 exercises. Okay, so the next one, I want to try and get you moving a little bit more. So we'll do side steps, side to side across the room. If you've got more space than me, then you can really go across it even further. Good morning, Leighton. Glad you're joining in today. Are we ready? So side stepping, side to side, and off you go. So really quick, staying on your toes. Trying to go one side, then the other. Fast as you can. How fast can you move? See if you can keep going without stopping for the whole time. Last few seconds. Can you keep going? And stop there. Well done. Okay, now the next one. Again, I'm going to try and move. So we've done a bit of moving on the spot. We've done side to side. Now I want forward and back. So I'm going to do a really big jump forward and then quickly backtrack back. So really big forward and then going nice and quick back. So see if we can keep going as fast as we can. Really big jump forward when you're going for it. And as fast as you can, use your arms as well. Going back, and off you go. Big jump forward, back jump. Really big forward, and back. Can you keep going for the whole time? And back. Really big jump forward. Nice and fast, all these exercises. Really good cardio. Getting our heart rate going. Blood pumping around our body. Trying to get nice and out of breath. Last few seconds, really big jump, and back. 
Well done, okay. So two more exercises without any equipment. Now this one, I want to look at going diagonal. We looked at side to side, we looked at forward and back. So I want you to start off in a corner. I want you to do a really big step forward, backwards, and then we do a big step forward the other way, and backwards. So you're going right across your body, fast as you can. So these are really good tennis movements, because tennis players need to move in all different directions. So start in a corner, and off you go. So big step forward, backwards back. Big step forward, and back. So you're going right across your body, and then nice and fast feet, then backwards to where you started. Big step forward and back. See if we can keep going for the whole time. Really big step forward and back. Last few seconds, really big and across your body. Last one and stop there. So last one now without any equipment at all. And again, I wanna see if we can get you moving in all different directions this time. Okay, so we're gonna start in the middle. We're gonna do a split step. Okay, and I'm gonna point a direction. So I might point that way, I might point that way, I might point forwards, I might point backwards, I might point diagonally that way or diagonally that way. So I want you to do a split, and then if I point that way, I want you to run this way, touch the floor, and then back in the middle. Okay, ready? And go, so split, we're gonna go that way. So run to the side and back. Split, we're gonna go that way. So run to the side and back. Split, we're gonna go forwards, so run forwards, and then go back. Split, we're going diagonally this way. And split, we're going diagonally that way. And split, we're going back this way. And split on this way again. And split on this way again. And split, we're going diagonally this way. Last few seconds, split, we're going to go diagonally this way. And split, we're going this way, last one. Split, we're going forwards and back. Well done. Okay, so now you need a ball. Doesn't need to be a tennis ball, can be any ball at all. Uh, and if you haven't got a ball or anything, something that you can catch for most of these is all you'll really need. So it could be anything small that you could throw it up and catch. So the first one, we do a big lunge forward, and I want you to bounce the ball on one side of your leg, then the other side. And you're gonna keep changing sides. Are you ready? Off you go. So really big lunge on one side, the other side. One side. The other side. So I'm still holding that lunge position and I'm bouncing the ball on one side, the other side, one side. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to change legs. So now I'm lunging forward with the other leg and one side, the other side. I'm changing sides. So I'm doing it for each time. Last few seconds. And stop there. Well done. Okay. Now the next one, we're going to do a side lunge. I lunge to the side here, I'm going to bend this knee here and I'm going to use my tennis ball and I'm going to throw it up and catch it and I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go down again, I'm going to throw it up, I'm going to catch and I'm going to go back up. And then halfway through we'll swap the sides that we're doing our lunge. So don't try and throw the ball too high, nice and controlled so you can catch it and come back up. Off you go. So down, throw it up, catch, back up. Down, throw it up, catch, back up. I'm going to take it in turns there. Nice and controlled. One more with this leg. Now swap legs, so I'm now bending this knee. Going nice and low, throwing up, catching it, back up. Nice and low, back up. And again, trying to see if we can keep that going, nice and controlled. Back up and down, catch, back up. Last one, and back up, well done. Okay, now the next one with the balls is one of my favourite ones, maybe you like this one as well. Ball in between my feet, I'm going to jump up in the air, I'm going to bring the ball up with me and see if I can catch the ball. Okay, so the higher you can lift your knees, the higher the ball goes, the easier it is to catch it. Ready, off you go. Ooh. See if you did better than I did then. Then jump up and catch. And jump up and catch. So you can keep that ball nice and controlled. You get down to be able to catch it. Last 10 seconds. See how many you can get. 10 seconds. I do one, two, three. Get one more in. 
four and stop there. Well done. Okay, the next one with the ball, I'm gonna face one way. I'm gonna throw the ball up over my head and we'll turn. I'm gonna try and catch it. Then I'm gonna throw it over my head the other way and we'll turn. I'm gonna try and catch it. Try and be nice and gentle with your throws just over your head. Hopefully not breaking anything in your house. Okay, are you ready? And off you go. Over your head and then catch. Over your head, catch. Over your head, nice and controlled, not too high up. Nice catching it over your head. Keep spinning in different ways so you're not getting dizzy. Over here, catch. 10 seconds to go. Over your head and catch. Last one and stop there. Well done, okay. So last one now with the ball and then the last five with our tennis racket. So this one, I want to see if you can stand on one leg and I want to see if you can move the ball around your leg without touching the floor with the other leg. And then we're going to change legs and we'll tap it round the other leg. Nice and controlled, not kicking it away from me too far. Keeping it round, keeping it there. And off you go. So round your leg, nice little taps. Nice balance this one, can you keep your balance the whole time? Now change legs, keep your balance, that's the other leg, oh I lost the ball then, keep changing legs every time you get it round your foot, and we've got time for one more, round your leg, and stop there. Well done. So you don't need the ball now, but you do need a racket. Again, if you've not got a tennis racket, pretty much anything will do that you can swing a little bit or do things around. So a frying pan, a cushion, anything like that. You could pencil, you know, anything like that you could use. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to put the racket down. Okay. So I want you to do a big jump wide of the racket and then back. Really big jump, trying to really bend my knees when I'm getting down and pushing back to so my feet quite close. Off you go, so nice and low, pushing back, nice and low, and back. Really bending my knees, getting low, and then jumping back up. Low, then back up. We can keep going, and down, and back up. Last one, and stop there. Well done. Okay, the next one, I want to think about my swings a little bit. So, I'm going to do split step, forehand, split step, backhand. And we keep swapping shots each time. Make sure that shot, you know, our feet are sideways on. We finish the swing before we do our split step. And we finish the swing, try not to hit anything in your room, uh, including your siblings if they're joining in as well. Uh, finish your swing, ready for the next one. And off you go, split step. Nice and light on your toes for your split step. And then turn your feet round. And then swing. Halfway through. Keep going. Nice fast feet. How many can you do in the time? Last one. We're getting a really good shot. And stop there. Okay. Now. This one, the one I think is quite hard, quite a fun one though. So the racket's going to be on your back. And I want to see if you can walk side to side, keeping the racket balanced on your back without it falling off. Okay, and see if you can keep it on for the whole time, the whole 30 seconds. Are you ready? And off you go. So getting up and then walking, your feet and your toes one side and then to the other side and back the other way oh i've lost my racket well done if you manage to keep yours on last three seconds can it stay on the rest of the time 
and stop there. Well done if you managed to keep it on the whole time then. So we've got two more exercises to go for today's workout. Now this one we're going to do a big lunge, forehand volley, and then swap, lunge, backhand volley. So just pushing that ball in the air and getting nice and low with our knees. Okay, and then we'll finish off with a few smashes. Are you ready? 30 seconds. And off you go. So lunge low and play a volley. Lunge low and back end volley. Lunge really low, keep the racket nice and high. And push the ball. Lunge low. See if we can keep it going the whole time without stopping at all. Lunging nice and low. The last 10 seconds. Really getting your legs to work here, getting nice and low. Controlling your arm. Three more seconds. And we do one more shot. And stop there. So the last one, we're going to touch the floor at the front and then we're going to do a big smash. If you can, if you've got some space, I quite don't quite have, but if you have got space, you can jump in the air and do a big smash. Then run forward again, touch the floor at the front, big smash. See if you can keep going as fast as you can for the whole 30 seconds. Last exercise, put all your effort into this one. Are you ready? And off you go. So touch the floor, big smash. Touch the floor. Big smash again. That's three, four, five. See if we can get 15 in. Six, seven. Touch the floor. Really big jump up. Eight, nine, ten. Ten seconds left. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Can I do one more? This is still three seconds left. Sixteen. And stop there. Well done. A lot of cardio exercise today, really trying to get you moving. So well done if you managed to keep going for the whole time then. That's really, really good. So we're going to finish off with a little bit of a cool down. Okay, I'm going to start. Feet together. I'm going to go down, see if I can touch my toes or as low as you can go. And try and hold it when you get there. Okay, now this time you're going to bend one leg, the other one straight, and you're going to try and touch your toe and hold that stretch there. And same with the other leg. So, like I said, there'll be two more live workouts now. So, one on Tuesday at 5 o'clock, and then Saturday, the normal time of 10 o'clock. Okay, lunge to the side now. So I hope you can join me for the last two. And uh, if you have been doing a lots of the workouts, then I know some of you have because I know you do them live and you, uh, you put a comment each week, which is awesome. But I know so quite a few people do it uh, afterwards, maybe later in the day or a different day. So if you are doing the workouts, if you could just send me a little message because I have got a little prize for you. Okay, so if you can just maybe put a comment uh, here that, that you're doing the you've been doing lots of the workouts because I think it's awesome the ones you've kept active and kept going and have done a lot of these each week. I think it's hopefully been really helpful for keeping you fit and also keeping your mind active. So well done everyone has so I would like to reward that really. So if you have been doing them, it's gonna go across now and up. And please do put a little comment saying I've been doing it or or something like that or tell me your best favourite exercise or anything like that. And uh, so I would like to give you a little something. Okay, now I'm gonna go across this way. So I hope you can join in again uh, next week on Tuesday and Saturday. And then after that, which I'm really excited for, the courts will be open again. And uh, I know some of you have booked on to the Easter camps and some of you have booked lessons. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone when the courts are back again. Okay, last stretch, just going to go forwards, really stretching out there, going to go down, and up as high as you can go. Well done. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you hopefully all on Tuesday.